Ah, the holiday season synonymous with festive cheer and of course a prime rib feast. Here are five swift tips to ensure your prime rib is the talk of the town. One, select the best cut. Prime rib comes in first, second and third cuts, with the first being the most tender and juicy. Two, season generously. A blend of salt, pepper and herbs rubbed over your prime rib will create a flavorful crust. Three, low and slow. Cooking your prime rib at a low temperature for a longer time will ensure it's perfectly tender. Four, let it rest. Give your prime rib time to rest after cooking so the juices can redistribute. And five, carve correctly. Always slice against the grain for the most tender bite. Remember, the perfect prime rib is just a few simple steps away. So this holiday season, be the master of the feast and let your prime rib shine. Until next time, happy cooking. Following on from our last scene, let's talk about the science behind a perfect prime rib. The cooking times and temperatures. For a medium rare prime rib, preheat your oven to the sizzling heat of 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Then introduce your prime rib to its hot new home and let it roast for 15 minutes. This will help create that crave-worthy crust oven temperature dial set to the perfect temperature for prime rib timer, set for the perfect cooking time for prime rib. After the initial sear, it's time to slow things down. Reduce the temperature to a more moderate 325 degrees and continue to cook for about 11 minutes per pound. Remember, these times are just guidelines. The real secret weapon in your culinary arsenal is a meat thermometer. It's the best way to ensure your prime rib is cooked to your desired doneness. Now that you're armed with the knowledge, it's your turn to bring the heat. Don't forget to share your prime rib cooking journey with us. Until next time, keep those taste buds tantalized and happy cooking.